For as long as we can remember, United Airlines, a stock that we rate at 8 out of 10, has played second fiddle to Delta Airlines. United's service was lousy, its timeliness was terrible, and its operations cost more. But for the first time in years, financial pros' search volumes for United are almost indistinguishable from Delta's, according to data from Trackstar, our proprietary sentiment indicator. And as we dug into the stock, we expected United would be the poor investment it's always been. But we were wrong. United is based in Chicago, and it's the third largest airline in the world by revenue behind Delta and American Airlines. United operates a fleet of more than 700 planes that serve 190 domestic and international destinations. The pandemic decimated United's business. Total revenues have finally recovered to pre-pandemic levels though, even though United moved fewer passengers over fewer miles in 2022 than in 2019. And that's thanks to the higher prices consumers are paying, and margins have also recovered, but are still lower than their historical averages. Part of what's hurting the company is the jump in interest expenses and long-term debt, both of which have grown dramatically. Debt is coming down now, and United is paying off between three and four billion dollars a year. However, United's debt to EBITDA ratio remains much higher than Delta's. United's excess leverage is likely behind its valuation discount relative to its peers. It trades at the lowest price to cash flow and price to earnings ratios, and it has the second cheapest price to sales ratio amongst the group, historically, and that makes United a pretty good deal. United's revenue growth rebounded in 2022, and it expects revenues to grow by another 31% this year. United has the best gross margins and the top returns on assets, equity, and total capital amongst its peers. From a risk-reward perspective, United isn't a bad bet. It's extremely cheap and making the right moves to improve its balance sheet. Its shares trade at the same price they did nearly 15 years ago. We like the stock as a small, speculative play.